You will love these charts. Of course, talking about the Bitcoin and the blockchain news that I read this morning and during my cup of coffee. And yes, of course, showing you these amazing views here in or near Alicante in Spain. Let's jump into the first part. Bang! Yes, the first part, of course, is the Bitcoin TA part. The, the part where you need to learn to zoom out in Bitcoin and zoom in at life. Let's start with the first chart, this chart. Bam! This is the four hour chart and you can see on this four hour chart, yes, we broke out of this channel. And now the question is, are we going to maintain above this top channel line? Is this a valid breakout? And will we go up like to 54K or 52K, come back to this line again to retest the support level and then go up to 60K? Or will we not close above this line and will we go down again to the bottom of the channel, which is around 48K, this bottom line? That is around 48k. I think exactly around 47k something. But you know, this is the channel we have been moving in. And if we break out, yes, I believe we will go to 55k, 60k and much higher in the near future because there is not many resistance in the top. But if we get rejected by this top line, then I expect us to drop back to 74k to 84k, like the bottom of this line. So that could be a really cool trade opportunity over there. Let's see how this will evolve. But today, not talking about this four hour chart. Today we are going to zoom out in Bitcoin and we are going to use these two charts for it so that you completely understand that we are in the beginning of this bull cycle. This will be the first chart. Really awesome chart. Bam! Like you can see on this chart, we just created the 23rd all time high since the beginning of this bull cycle. So yes, 23 times we have created a new all-time high in this bull cycle. Huh, Didi, what do you mean? What does that mean? It means that we increased the all-time high. The previous all-time high was 20K. And after 20K, when we broke that one, we created 23 times a new all-time high. Every time a little bit higher, higher, higher. Is this now important? Yes, this is important. Because if you zoom out, <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? Like, zoom out. Because I like it like that. I like it like that. Duh. So, if we zoom out, then we can see and analyze how often we created a new all-time high in the previous bull runs. And that is the interesting part. Let's take a look at the interesting part. Wow, you see this beautiful view. Oh, behind me, I'm going to walk a circle. Just that you see where I am. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> oh my God, Didi tune down your energy you're getting crazy so if we zoom out and we look at another chart the same chart but then in the zoomed out version this one bam you can see how many times we created a new ultimate in the previous two bull runs in 2017 we created 74 times a new all-time high during that bull run in 2013 we created 52 times a new all-time high in the bull run we just created the 23rd new all-time high. So do you really think we are topping out? Or do you think that there is a lot of new all-time highs that still can be created just like we saw in 2017 and just like we saw in 2013? 74 times a new all-time high. That would mean we need to like 
three times as much all the miles that we see now. And then 50 times to all the high, like in 2013, we still need to double the amount of all time highs we are making now. And to double or to triple the all time highs we have been making now, till now in this bull run, we need to increase in price. We cannot create an all time high, a new all time high, if we go down in the price. We need to go up. So in the zoomed out view of these two charts, completely clear what is happening in Bitcoin at the moment and that there is a lot a lot of upwards movement possible which you can also see in the chart that i'm going to share now before i will share the next chart please a shout out to charts btc for creating these awesome charts i love them thanks for sharing these charts on twitter charts btc for the end and, and also guys before that we go to the next chart i would love you to guys to give this video already a thumbs up just give it a thumbs up I need more thumbs ups. I need the YouTube algorithm to discover our YouTube channel. So thumbs ups, sharing, commenting, all that stuff helps me and helps the Bitcoin family to grow to a huge Bitcoin family that will help poor people all over the world. So your thumbs ups are very important. And yes, also your comments. Please leave a comment while I turn around the camera so you can enjoy this view. And I will take you to an amazing chart that even tells you better where we are in the cycle. Check this view first. Bam. view but we need to keep the video short because I still have this uploading issue so let's take a look now at the chart I was talking about of course you already guessed which chart it is but for the ones who didn't guess it yet it is this chart Bam! yes plan B chart and we can see on plan B's chart that we reach 50k and we can see the small jump between those two dots and the small jump between those dot dots we have seen this small jump between those two last dots somewhere before in 2017 and if you look back to 2017 you can see the same small jump and from a red dot into this orange dot and there was a small like space in between it that was the jump that created from the red dots the first orange dot which will evolve to a little bit more clear orange dots which then will evolve to yellow dots which then will be the indication of the new bull run top plan b's chart we are exactly on track just check it take a look at this chart and then still take a look at the charts i already shared before in this video and then please understand we are only in the beginning of this whole bull cycle. 50K is the beginning. We will see 100K, we will see maybe 200K, maybe even 318 to 400K. We don't know for sure, but in my opinion, we are just getting started. This party is just getting started. And we're going to have a lot of fun together. If you now subscribe to the YouTube channel, because I will be keeping talking to you every day again and again about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. But you need to subscribe to the channel so you will be notified on every new video I make. Because sometimes the YouTube algorithm wants to hide all these Bitcoin related videos. And if they want to hide those Bitcoin related videos because of the bee on my arm or whatever, then you know, we have this problem that you will fi won't find these videos. So please subscribe to our channel so you will be notified on every new video we make. It is really important. Okay, did you do it? I will give you a few seconds to do it. Let's walk back to the bike, guys. I need to keep the video short, like I said, because else uploading will take me hours. I found a, a new program called Handbrake or something that should be compressing the videos and make the upload faster. I'm going to use that from today the first time. So let's see if that works. Thanks, Roy himself, you know, for giving me this advice. I already had this program installed because I now remember that Stefan from Familia of Weltreiser me already told this like a couple of years ago. Did he use Handbrake? I I completely forgot about handbrake now i will use handbrake again today to see if it will uh, speed up my uploading of this video let's jump into the next part of the video the part about the news that i read this morning during my delicious cup of coffee bam <laughs> nydig just filed for a us based etf and that is not really special because a lot of companies already tried to file for this etf the cool part of this one is that they filed it together with Morgan Stanley. And yes, Morgan Stanley is of course a known name in the US. So now Morgan Stanley together with NYDIG 
together filing for this ETF at the SEC in the US. Let's see how this will evolve because that could be a really big step if that will be accepted because then more and more money will start to flow in this industry which will make the predictions I just did in the whole TA part even more valid and maybe even like crash all those predictions to even higher, higher, higher numbers in the next couple of years for Bitcoin. And, and you know, the US needs to join Canada because Canada already approved the first publicly traded ETF in Canada. And now there is even the second company, I think it's called Evolve or something. They are also filing for an ETF in Canada. So then there will be two publicly traded BTC ETFs in Canada. Do you really think that the US is going to stay behind? Do you really think that they will allow all that money from the US, all those American dollars to flow now into Canadian dollars because all those people that want to trade Bitcoin ETFs will now go and trade it in Canada because they are not allowed in the US? I don't believe this anymore. I think the US will very soon have a public tradable Bitcoin ETF because they don't want to walk behind their little brother Canada so as they see it not like I see it I think I would love Canada that's why we will go there once and do a real cool Canadian tour with a Bitcoin van to see how Bitcoin is doing in Canada while I try to avoid all these huge bears in nature and all that stuff and I will search for bulls in Canada <laughs> oh my god Didier how did you make it up I don't know I just have too much energy because I'm so happy that we are going to Mexico. We are going to a place where I don't need to wear face masks, where the restaurants are open, where the beaches are beautiful. Everything with a B is good in Mexico um, because burrito, Bitcoin, beaches, beauty, all these things in Mexico. Yes, let's see if we will enjoy it as a family. But uh, Didi, short video, keep talking about the news. Bam! Some news about crypto collectibles, also referred to as NFTs. Yes, what is it again, Didi? Non-fungible token. Just compare it to your Pokemon cards that you were exchanging with your friends or your football cards or whatever you were exchanging with your friends in the old days and your NFT has value. And sometimes you say, ah, oh, this card is worth like three of those cards or whatever, you know? These kinds of things, now digital on the blockchain, that is what we call collectibles NFTs on the blockchains. Really cool. And you know, not, not only really cool, but also profitable. Because in the last month, there was like about $100 million worth of NFT collectibles exchanged. $100 million worth of NFT collectibles. That's a shitload of money for these cards that now the adults are playing with as well. And the top 10 of these collectibles you can see in this table, bam. Number one is the NBA Top Shot. Really cool. Check that volume. Check that market cap. Really big. Then we have Hash Mask. Then we have CryptoPunks. And we have Sorare. This is the Japanese football coach, manager, football game where you can exchange players and NFTs. Uh, that one is also on the list. Really cool. I already talked about Sorare last year when I was in Thailand when they were launching. Really cool project with a lot of volume. I think then we have Artblock and we also have Axie Infinity. You know, Axie Infinity I installed the game for my wife. She was playing around with it. She still finds it a little bit difficult to understand but there is a video uh, made I think by Sean from Hard Forking Hard Forking, not fucking, but Hard Falking.com, did he? Yeah, where your you, your tongue speaks what your mind is thinking, or what is it again? Yeah, no, I was thinking about hard fucking, but I want to say hard fucking. Sean, he made really cool views about X Infinity and how it works and what you can do with X Infinity. But yes, a shout out to Sean. He was one of the early discoverers from. XC Infinity, they are also in this list with huge volume. Check this list, really cool. Do your research after this really cool collectibles industry because there is some really cool new projects popping up every day. Yesterday I, I did a tweet, just check the tweet again. Now there is this RPG role playing game. Um, working together with collectibles it's the first time ever there is a lot of development in this industry so if you like to keep track on what is going on in this industry then do not forget to take a look at nfts and collectibles because it is fun and it is profitable at the same time and that always has future bam and the last news is about a survey. There was a survey done between all the CFOs of huge companies and they just filled in this survey and out of the survey rolled that 5% of all the CFOs of all these companies wants to start to invest in Bitcoin. So yes, 
institutional investors and also high-ranked employees in these institutional investment companies they are thinking about buying Bitcoin there is not that many Bitcoin left we have a supply crisis and like I already said in many videos and now the CFO is also very positive on hedging their capital into Bitcoin to protect their capital from losses I can't get more bullish than this we are going to the moon very soon and very soon not tomorrow or the day after but it won't take 10 years man we will go to the moon this bull run guys this will be a huge 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 massive bull run for Bitcoin guys if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments I want to thank you for watching today's video and again I always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in alive try to enjoy every single minute of the day and this amazing bull run we are going to see in 2021 thanks for watching see you tomorrow again bye bam Ha <laughs> ha!